DJ, DJ, DJ Eric J. Eric. Um, and one last thing I want to talk about too um, is another YouTuber. And I don't watch his videos, but like I've been seeing him trending like the past week. His name is like David Dobrik. Dobrik. And he basically is in a lot of trouble because he's being accused of sexual assault. Um, because there was a woman who was allegedly sexually assaulted by him and, a, and his, one of his friends, okay? And he's a big, big YouTuber. And he's one of those people that I mentioned through the podcast that said they got like 25 million subscribers. This guy got 18 million subscribers on one channel and 2 million on the second channel. So he got 20 million subs all together. And he basically goes on his show and he has like a group of people on there. And they just do dumb frat house type shit. But it's like really racially charged and really sexist charged. And in a couple of their videos, he's done a lot of offensive things. Um, one, he set his friend up and basically made his friend think that he was uh, kissing a female that was in like a disguise when it really was a, a really old man. And he was like, it was a black guy that he did this to. And people was basically saying that he was trying to um, demean him. Okay. And it was just like, you know, the, the guy didn't consent to kissing another guy. And he was disgusted by it. Um, there was another video also of him basically setting up a date rape to two girls that were underage. And they were basically, um, they, they brought the girls in Asked them if they wanted to have like a, a menage a trois threesome. The girls said they weren't interested. They end up giving them booze, drugs, whatever they can. And then his friend goes into the room. Okay, this is on video camera. On YouTube. This is the stuff when I say that YouTube is very biased. This is the stuff that I talk about. Um, and they basically go in the room and then it comes out after he literally had sex, allegedly, um, or S with both of these women. And it's like, really, YouTube? Really? And this happened like a couple of years ago, and it's just now like making headlines and everything else. And now he wants to come on social media and make his little false apology, just like a narcissist, you know what I mean? And kind of make it about himself and act like he didn't know what he was doing, this, this, and this. And really, it's just, you just thought you had privilege. You just thought you had the right to be able to do something like this. And now you're getting called out for it. And honestly, you didn't. You don't care about the people that's being victimized because of your work, sir. You are more so c concerned about you losing sponsors because there's been a list of sponsors who decided not to sponsor him anymore or support his channel. And me, I totally 100 percent agree you know what i'm saying like i sat and i was watching several videos on him and i'm just sitting here like wow youtube you got a lot explaining to do because it's like why is it a fact like he okay y'all just y'all just demonetize his page right that's nice and all but honestly his entire account should be suspended permanently Okay, for the stuff that he's done on here, especially seeing that literally after this alleged um, date rape happened, the person who did it came out and basically said, oh yeah, you know, I just had a, a threesome, knowing that they drug these girls. And then there's a clip of the dude David getting in the car and saying that we might be going to jail for this afterward. And YouTube didn't think after this gets exposed, YouTube says, no, we're not going to delete his account completely. What we're going to do is we're going to demonetize the channel. Now, let's talk about the black sector of YouTube for a second. Because Funky Dineva got his entire account suspended. Mind you, Funky Dineva only has probably 1% of the, not even under 1%, probably less than that. Half of a nasty 1% um, compared to someone like a David who has 18 to 20 million followers. They deleted Funky Dineva's page because he had a supplement video on a page from like five ten years ago okay but this guy literally records himself um doing a lot of risky you know racially charged things sexist charged things and they allegedly basically partially filmed the setup for a rape and they still got this man with a youtube page i am perplexed the fact that he was able to actually go on youtube and make an apology and still have his channel whether it's monetized or demonetized or not it doesn't help the situation because you guys are still allowing this guy viewership and if funky night nevis page got deleted because of one little error trial and error why is it that he hasn't had his page deleted when he literally is being um accused of some horrific disgusting things now all my viewers below 
please tell me below why do you think his page was not deleted and make sure you guys and uh, you know i would say go to his channel i don't want to help you get any more views but since he demonetized he shouldn't be making any more views and y'all just need to check this out yourself because it's absolutely disgusting you know what i'm saying but it's so interesting when people like that have 20 million followers this this and this he's so focused on making sure that their page stay up when his page should be deleted his page should be deleted. I don't, you know, I'm not a person who advocates for someone downfall or advocates for people like that because I am a um, influence myself and I and I make content, I'm a content creator myself, and I understand the struggle of building. But when you do stuff like this, when you're recording the aftermath of an alleged rape, a date rape, or you drugged some females, why is it that you still have a YouTube channel? And meanwhile, people like Funky Dineva are getting their account suspended because they decided to post something about a herbal supplement. You guys just sit and think about it. You go to his page, you go to Funky Dynamics page, and then you guys tell me what you guys think it might be. Because I really am just fed up with how some of these things are going. And, um, you know, I hope, you know, if he, you know, you know, I, I just hope that YouTube really start being less biased <laughs> and really start implementing the rules for everybody and stop half-assing it that's really just all i want to say about that for real for real because it's just it's just out of control it's ridiculous um and it's, it's not cool at all period and i just wanted to talk about that too because um there's other stuff that be going on on youtube with these youtubers and stuff like that and i'm just like this dude david dobrik like he is living good like whether it whether they get sponsors pulled whatever his sponsors are going to come back you know what i'm saying they're just waiting for it uh, to die down you know what i'm saying and um you know after it dies down after a while they're probably going to come back and they're probably going to still support him you know what i'm saying so it's just what it is i guess y'all tell me what y'all think about that um y'all if you are a person that subscribed to david dobrik i hope you unsubscribe i don't know but it's just not it's not right what he did is not right period like i said i'm never an advocate for youtubers to lose their money or anything like that but if you're going to delete funky dynamics page his page should also be deleted because this is absolutely disgusting that you can film a date rape and still be able to make millions of dollars off of it. And this happened two years ago. Y'all, I'm going to keep y'all posted on the updates on that. But y'all go check out his page so y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? And we're going to get on to the next subject because we got to talk about another narcissist, okay? DJ, DJ, DJ Erica. Erica.